Inflation report came out. Canadian inflation CPI report, consumer price index report comes out. It is below 3% again, 2.7 as expected. What does this mean? By the way, I am not breaking down a tiny little bit of that inflation report. I'm not going to talk about core. I'm not going to talk about trim. I'm not going to talk about any aspect of it because it's not important. There's a new one every month. So what is important though? Not up. What does not going up mean? Like, I want to make this stuff simple. The reason I want to make it simple is there's a habit of making it much more complicated than it is. Why do we really care? Well, in the mortgage business, the only reason you care about the inflation report is what action the Bank of Canada will take. The Bank of Canada has three choices. Raise the rate, leave it alone, drop the rate, cut the rate. That's it. Three choices. And a report like this, the 2.7, brings us closer and closer to a rate cut. I don't actually think it's going to be June. There is an announcement in June. I don't, early June, only in a couple of weeks. I don't necessarily believe there will be a cut. I think they're thinking whether they should, and, and thinking, the Bank of Canada, Tiff Macklin, the governors, the researchers, everybody there is thinking about it, means that it's getting closer. So, when will rates come down? Probably not June, but I ain't betting anymore. I used to call these things like the day before. No longer. This has now become a serious thinking about exercise. But I don't think June. I think July is possible. We get another kind of decent inflation report, 2.7 again. We get some deteriorating jobs numbers, which I know, I know we had the strange... Oh, jobs are up report last month, but I got a feeling based on every single bit of anecdotal evidence I see that jobs are not going great. Full-time jobs might be a lot of action at McDonald's and Tim Hortons, but uh, and there might be some extra Uber and uh, skip the dishes drivers, but I don't necessarily believe that the job market in Canada is a roaring success. So barring a black swan moment, that black swan is nobody saw it coming. Barring a black swan moment, lower rates are coming. The Bank of Canada will cut. It'll cut either July, sometime in the fall. There will be Bank of Canada cuts this year. By every measure, that's all we can see. And this inflation report just reinforces it. Now, what does that mean? What does it mean when the Bank of Canada cuts? A lot of people say, well, oh, hey, Ron, the real estate market's going to come roaring back. I don't know. I don't know that's true. I mean, if the economy is that bad, is the real estate market going to soar right across this country? I don't know. That's not historically been the experience. There's things the Bank of Canada knows before we know it. They know information about job losses. They know information about hiring freezes. They know information about buildups of arrears and all different sorts of places that we don't necessarily... Let, let's face facts, folks. There's like 100 PhDs over there. 100 PhDs studying data, analyzing, and figuring out what's going to go. That's what the Bank of Canada Employment Group has grown substantially in the last few years, just like every other public governmental organization. It's grown substantially. Now, I know. I know there's a bunch of people out there who just want to start commenting, no, you're wrong. There's going to be hikes. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, there's going to be, uh, that's going to destroy the Canadian dollar. We cannot do that. It's going to be, that's impossible. We can't have a rate cut because it'll destroy the dollar. Look, I'm just asking everybody politely to stop that stuff, right? The Canadian economy is not getting better anytime soon. We're looking at reduced sales, automobiles, big ticket appliances, furniture, you name it, all reduced sales. We're looking at layoffs. We're looking at hiring freezes. So these are all in the key, you know, high income salary jobs. We shouldn't, any of us should care what's going on at Skip the Dishes or Tim Hortons. That's not meaningful for Canadians who are, who need to earn a lot of money in a country that's got a very, very high cost of living, very expensive housing and high rents. 
So the cuts will come. We should actually start thinking about the real conversation. We shouldn't just spend all our time thinking about when will they start? They're coming. We should start thinking about how fast Will rates come down? How fast will the Bank of Canada reduce its rate? And when will it stop? These are the new conversations we need to start having. And they're worthy. They're worth talking about. Um, will it stimulate all kinds of house sales? Again, I caution you. I caution you. Do not assume that a reduction in rates will suddenly stimulate housing through the roof again. It's not one dimensional. Yes, there will be people who are waiting for rates to fall, but there are also people who are running into situations where they can't afford their homes anymore. This is a balancing act. We have to see how it comes out. So how far, how fast will rates fall? No idea on that today, but it's something that deserves our thought process, it's something that deserves investigation and thinking. We have to move to the stage where that's what we start thinking about. Because folks, the cuts are coming.